Stay away from fucking shit bags. If you have a problem with something I said in this video, it's probably because the fucking shoe fits. If it walks like a duck, if it looks like a duck, and it sounds like a duck, then you're a fucking duck. If you don't like it, fucking be different. If you don't like it, don't fucking listen. If it's not about you, then send it to somebody who might benefit from it. So I haven't done a video yesterday morning or this morning. Every morning I walk into the shop from the gym and I mix up a couple of drinks. I use a Opti Greens Greens product and now I use Opti Reds also. And I mix a couple of those drinks up uh, for some of the ladies that work for me uh, because they showed interest in it. That's, that's the only reason. Um, that shit's expensive. It costs, I don't know, 50 bucks a tub. It's a couple hundred dollars a month I spend on it and now I order extras so that they can also have it because they showed interest. Um, I've got a bunch of other ladies who could give a fuck, so we don't. It's just like people I feed because they showed interest and appreciation and they want to better themselves, so I have no problem spending my money. When I feed my employees, that's not a tax write-off. That money, the IRS does not allow me to feed my employees. You are allowed to give one chicken or I'm sorry one turkey or one ham by IRS guidelines that's the only thing you can give to an employee if you give them a Christmas present you are still supposed to pay taxes on it so all the food that gets used in the building John Willis buys that food I'm taxed at almost a 45 percent tax so John Willis pays all the tax first then that money comes from John Willis and goes to the grocer or the butcher or whoever so to feed those employees that's me that pays that. And it's not just me, it gets taxed. Half my money gets taken, then I buy the groceries with it. So I only feed the employees that show interest in being better. And that's, uh, that's probably 12 employees right now that I feed every breakfast, every lunch, every dinner, a lot of dinners. So I don't do a video, guys always email me. They're fast to point out when there's no video. And I appreciate, hey, checking on you, hey, that's not like you, whatever. But the crazy shit is, the people that are fast to send those emails or those private messages, and you guys PMing me, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I see your messages. If you PM SOE, it doesn't send me a chime. Like, I have to actually go and look for that, which I do a few times a day. And a lot of times, like Instagram, you will get me a lot faster on Facebook than Instagram. When you send a message to Instagram, there's a folder called the other folder. And if you're not following me and we're not friends on there, I don't see your shit till I go look for it. And sometimes that can be months. So if it's important enough for you to get in touch with us, don't rely on that. You better hit multiple fucking streams. I'm busy. I have over a thousand interactions a day. But the dude's sending messages and emailing me and PMing me, hey, we didn't see your video. Hey, there wasn't a podcast. Did I miss one? You motherfuckers aren't commenting. I don't recognize your names from my messages uh, that you send me. I don't recognize you on the comments every morning on Instagram, on Facebook, on the YouTube um, podcasts, all that shit. The dudes that fucking have the time to go, hey, man, where where's my podcast? Hey, man, where's my video? I needed it to get out of bed this morning. You motherfuckers aren't doing anything. I don't know your names. You're not doing customer shit. You're not giving me money. You're not interacting on my social media. Do you know on Instagram, like the first 15 minutes you post something on Instagram, if you guys comment and I comment back, then it sends it out from 5% to about 7% of the followers on there. I've got 35,000 on Instagram. So when I put that out, 350 people, I'm lucky if fucking see that unless you're actually looking for it in the morning. So when you guys comment, if I don't, if, if you guys comment, if I put a video up, like when I'm leaving the compound, everybody meets up here. When I'm leaving here to go to the gym, I got 14 minutes. As soon as I pull in the parking lot and look at comments, if I comment back, it pushes that out to about 10%. And then the more comment, it pushes it to 15%. If that. So if you guys don't comment, there's no interaction on there and it goes nowhere and it doesn't fucking nothing happens with it so i just stopped doing it it takes me to do that one minute video in the morning that takes about 30 minutes out of my day that takes my energy that fucking sidetracks me there's so many days when i walk out of the building in the morning we all meet up here there's so many days i walk out and i'm like shit i gotta do this video i need it i owe a video i gotta do it accountability for myself people fucking say they benefit from it and then i get to the gym and i have no earbuds or I get to the gym and I don't have my fucking water. Or I get to, because I did the fucking video. It takes from me to give that to you guys. But I don't get anything back from it. 
other than a bunch of emails when I don't do it. I don't get a bunch of emails when I don't get a bunch of interaction when I do it. So that takes from me. It's not about what you do every day. It's about what you do beyond what you do every day. You guys that show up to work, showing up to work, that's what you do. That's like a motherfucker's like bragging about, I ain't even been to jail. No shit, you piece of shit. You're not supposed to fucking go to jail. You don't get a fucking trophy. You're supposed to get up and fucking move and show up to work and pay your fucking bills and not draw a check from the state. That's shitbag stuff. You're not supposed to fucking go to jail. You're supposed to go to fucking work every day. Get the fuck up. It's not about showing up to work. When you show up to work and do the same shit every day, somebody will show up to work that does more to you, more than you. It's like the new guy that shows up and the older dudes are like, hey man, slow down, you don't have to do that. Hey man, you're making us look bad. Do you think that doesn't fucking come out? Like when somebody tells a new employee, hey, you're making us look bad. Do you think for one second anything happens within a fucking company where the boss doesn't hear that? Or somebody hears it, somebody overhears it, somebody sees it, the dude fucking eventually brings it up. Do you think that doesn't happen? It's not about going to the gym every day. It's not about going in on chest day and doing bench press and incline press and decline press and flies. It's not about that. It's about going beyond that. You have to fucking go beyond in order to grow. Otherwise, you're just fucking wasting everybody's time. It's not about showing up and maintaining. It's about developing beyond. You can't fucking develop anybody if you can't develop you. And there will come a time, everybody you're developing, it's that wireless charging thing. I've never heard anybody say that. I've never heard anyone say that. But it's that wireless charging thing. If you got, they got all these phones now, you can tap them together and set them next to each other. If you're in the restaurant or you're in the bar like the fucking commercial shows, and it's, a, it's a, a dude and a chick, and his phone's dead, and her phone's not. For her to charge his phone, that draws her phone down halfway. You have to give whatever they get, it brings you down to their level. So if you're around a motherfucker that's slow, or mopey, or in a bad mood, that is going to, he's, you, you can give him some to bring him up. It takes away from you to do it. So you better be careful when you do that. Is that motherfucker worth giving part of you to? That's everywhere, anywhere. At school, at work, at fucking sports, that's anywhere. And that builds, that builds character to a young person, right? That builds character. And you can develop character as you go. Become a better person. Better people will want to be around you. If you're doing shitbag stuff, you ain't gonna have fucking high caliber people wanting to fuck with you. You're gonna have shitbags wanting around, around you. And you're gonna wonder, if you're the dude that has your tools getting stolen, if you're the dude some bad shit always happens to, you better believe in fucking karma, witchcraft, whatever you gotta fucking call it. If you're always getting stolen from and you're always making posts on Facebook about my friend fucked me over and I took care of this dude, well, stop being around shit bags because that's how that fucking happens. They make plates in the gym, right? Everything goes back to the gym because every dude can relate to the gym. And if you can't, you should be able to. Maybe that's what's wrong in your life. If you can't relate to physical movement, physical fitness, fixing yourself, stretching, yoga, whatever you need to do, right? Whatever you have to do. If you can't relate to that, that's probably part of your problem because when you fix that, everything else starts to fix. Or you have the ability and the clarity to set things in motion to make yourself better. It all starts with movement. They make weights. Everybody goes in and does bench, right? And they throw on, the light's terrible over there. They throw on, basically they've got 25s, 35s, and 45s. And everybody wants to throw 30, 45s on bar, and then maybe some 25s, so you've got 185, and then fucking take the 25s off. You know they make these weights? They're 10 pounds and five pounds. And you might not know this, but they make a two and a half and a one and a quarter pound fucking weight. It's like micro dosing. You can't break your limits because you never fucking put any of those little weights on there. Those little weights add up. If you go in and you do your heavier set with one and a quarter on each side, and then next week you put another one and a quarter of those two and a half, you will break that limit. If you are not breaking limits and you are not going beyond your boundaries, you are dying. 
If you have no forward progress, you're doing everything for fucking nothing. It doesn't matter if you got up and walked a couple times this week. It doesn't matter if you went to the gym unless you fucking set some fucking boundaries and broke them. You don't know what your limits are because nobody wants to test them because when you test your limits, you now have a new accountability, whether it be at work. Let's say you build something. Schindler's List, was it Schindler's List? Not Schindler's List. Yeah, Schindler's List, the, the death camp movie, right? The make me a hinge. How many hinges? Well, that's a little fucking skewed because the calibration of the machine was off and the dude definitely had an excuse. But if you show up to work and your job is to make something and you have demonstrated that you can make this said thing in 10 minutes, but next week you're building it in 30 minutes, that's a big, giant, fat fucking problem. That's that accountability. Do you not know that somebody knows how long it took you to build them? Time sheets. For instance, in this building here, I'm sitting in front. I came out of, I'm at work. We went to the gym. I came out here to make a fucking video for Instagram. And I just happened to have a camera here. So I'm doing a longer one for YouTube. We're just going to fucking put some shit out there. Content every day, right? You only get content every day if you fucking do your part. You lazy motherfuckers can't even hit a fucking a like or a thumbs up. Or, I don't know, God forbid, a fucking share. Some of you motherfuckers in our clothes groups. I went in my clothes. I put a video up. I, that stupid fucking, that, not stupid, but I mean, that Katanica video, right? Here's something for you. The Katanica video. I made that video. We went out to the road up the, up the way where we go kayaking and mountain biking and shit. It's beautiful out there. We shot that video. We flew a drone. We shot this GX7 X Mark II, and we shot a GoPro. We have a new kid working for us, said he wants to be a video game programmer. I'm like, you're awesome, you're gonna be, the, then you can do camera shit. I will teach you some of this. So, we don't have a video person here anymore. So that video yesterday that I put together, that one minute Instagram video, that took me fucking four hours, because I don't know this shit. I'm sure there's some shortcuts and tricks. So, four hours, I go upstairs, and it is fucking 85 degrees up there with the air on yesterday. Something's up, something's wrong with our AC stuff. 85 degrees, four and a half hours, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna add just some drone shit to the back of it. That took me two more hours. I have six hours plus invested in a video that's two minutes that went to Facebook and one minute on Instagram. That's a lot of fucking time because I'm not good at it. I know the, the video thing is the next level. Good content, catchy content, music that motion with the beat of the music. I'm, I'm trying to learn that. I've known I need to do that for years. I've done some videos. Then I hire people and I become complacent and they're better than I am because I stop growing. The video thing, I don't wanna do the video thing because I don't know how to do it. But I can't hire somebody and expect them to do something you can't pay somebody to do something if you don't know what you need them to do. Obviously, you can, you know, heart surgeon, whatever, but nobody's going to take care of your health like you take care of your health. This battery's about to die. I'm rambling. You guys got to fucking do something more than what you did yesterday. If you're not, why fucking show up? There will be somebody, when you're complacent, that's all it's all about, complacency, the bare minimum, lowering the bar. You motherfuckers, some of you are so fucking low. Somebody will show up. And then you won't be the important guy anymore. If you're showing up just doing your job, sooner or later somebody will show up that does their job and your job. Sooner or later, your boss will open his eyes and go, you know what, this dude didn't come to work today. He wasn't here fucking last week. I did his job. I pay him 10 hours a day and I did his entire job in two hours. A lot of times people will hire people to do things they don't want to do. Don't mistake that for can't do can't and don't want to don't want to is just a minor inconvenience but over a period of months when you math that out the savings compared to the inconvenience if you're paying a dude fucking 50 grand a year to do something you can do in two hours that's fifty thousand dollars you don't have to pay a motherfucker you can do a lot of shit within your business with fifty thousand dollars Remember, if you are not fucking going beyond and testing your boundaries, most of you, you don't even know where your failure point is because you've never been close to it. And all the, well, I'm scared to fail. No, you're fucking lazy, you piece of shit.
Make something fucking better for you. You can't make anybody else better until you... All right, camera died. New battery. So, if anything you heard in this video strikes a nerve with you, that's because it probably fits you. If you have issue with something you hear in any of my videos, that's because they fit you. If you're a high performer and you know somebody like what I'm talking about, tag them. Send them a link to it if you don't want them to be known, right? Just PM the video to them. Say something. Hey, check this guy out. You don't even have to tell them, hey, this is you, you piece of shit. Just send it to them. They know. Maybe it'll ignite somebody. Maybe it'll fucking put a little spark in them and change something. You don't have to do that shit. Never do that shit out of anger. Do that shit because you fucking love someone. You care about them. You know they can do something. They've fallen off a little bit. If you're doing it out of anger, you probably shouldn't be near that person. If you're doing it to hurt them, they probably shouldn't be in your life. Unfortunately, when you say tough things to people that you care about and you're hoping to better them somehow, unfortunately, most of them take it the wrong way. That's because they know they're fucking up. But you can only let them fuck up so much and stay around them. You gotta distance them. Everybody calls people friends. I was telling, I was telling Cody and Pierre this morning when I was a kid, right? We used to ride BMX bikes and I was probably like 13 years old. And the neighbor next to us had a huge catch pan under the car. And it was, it was a giant fucking grease catch, oil catch, right, from under their car. And it was probably like six by eight feet, four by six feet maybe. I don't know. It was fucking, it was big, real big. So we would go up the driveway, and their driveway was a little uphill, right? Beautiful driveway. They always cleaned it, like almost like they bleached it. It looked brand new. So we'd go from across the street up into the driveway, and we had rear brakes, you know, hand brakes or coaster brakes. And we would hit this grease pan. It was big enough, the pan was big enough, we could have both wheels of the bike on the thing. And then we'd lock the brake up and the pan would just slide around. You'd do this big skid. But the bike stayed on the grease pan and the pan would slide and you'd light, ride this pan into their garage and kind of hit the garage. They weren't home. And we did this all through the fucking day. It was a summer day or whatever. And when you come out of the grease pan, two tire tracks would roll down their beautiful driveway and leave oil marks on their driveway. And it's oil, you know, it's dirt. They've been driving down the highway. It's dirty black oil from underneath their car. And we're in a, you know, a, a middle-class neighborhood, uh, nice for, you know, at the time, nice from what we knew. So there was four or five of us doing this, but I was the closest to them. So they just followed the tracks home, came to my mom, and my dad at the time, my dad was still there. So I had to, man, this had to be like third grade. My father still lived there. So I'm blamed for it. I didn't go, well, Billy and Bobby and Jimmy and Joey were with me. I went over there and started cleaning this fucking mess we made. It never dawned on me to go, well, these guys should help me clean it up. So I'm cleaning up this mess. It was Cordell Perigo. It was a dude named Randy. It was Jeremy from the end of the street. There were a few other kids. I'm out there for hours. They got home probably five, so I'm out there till seven, eight o'clock cleaning this up. And I never did get it all the way clean. I'm out there with soap and water and spray cans and all kinds of shit trying to get this off there. Like nice, like it's like literally like they bleached the driveway. All my friends were out there riding around. I'm the only one cleaning that shit up. Nobody came over and goes, hey, you know what, let me help you. I fucking created this. Nobody stepped up and goes, you know what, it's my fault also. And it dawned on me, we all made the mess. It wasn't even my idea. We just, I saw them do it, I did it, I got caught. I cleaned the mess up the best I could. All of them were out in the cul-de-sac fucking jumping jumps and riding BMX bikes in eye shot of me cleaning up the mess we all made. None of them stood up, none of them stepped up. I took the blame, I cleaned up the mess, I solved the problem. You know why? Those weren't friends. Those were just dudes that were there that you did some shit with, 
because that's what was available. And as you grew up, you learned that lesson or you didn't learn that lesson. Stay away from fucking shit bags. If you have a problem with something I said in this video, it's probably because the fucking shoe fits. If it walks like a duck, if it looks like a duck, and it sounds like a duck, then you're a fucking duck. If you don't like it, fucking be different. If you don't like it, don't fucking listen. If it's not about you, then send it to somebody who might benefit from it. Don't ever do shit out of anger. If they make you angry and you're doing it to hurt them, they shouldn't be fucking near enough you to fucking to bother you with it. Go be fucking better somehow today. Do good shit. And if you're fucking complaining about me not putting videos up, then you goddamn well better be fucking commenting on them, sharing them, and fucking participating. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. I'm in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. I'm in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.